elected representative, District 174. I'd like to thank Ms. Walker and the other chamber members for inviting me here tonight, give an opportunity to, to talk to y'all. I've got some good news for you. I'm not going to do like these TV ads and tell you why you shouldn't vote for my opponent. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to tell you what I believe in and what I stand for. You make up your own mind. I, uh, I think that's the way it ought to be done. You know, first, I'm going to stand for education. I've been on a local school board in Evans County for 12 years. I qualified to run for the next board. I was going to be unopposed. But the people satisfied with the job that I've been doing. You know, I've been in those meetings where you have to make the tough decisions. You know, are you going to furlough your teachers? Are you going to go to a full day work meeting, but you're going to put an unnecessary burden on the parents to have to find somebody to keep those kids on Friday? Are you going to do a reduction in force and eliminate that drama and music program and teacher that not a, it's not a required class, and you can save some money there, so that's an easy decision, you'd think. But then you think about that, that student that uh, really wasn't engaged in school, really didn't care, was probably going to drop out of school. And then she got involved in drama and music, and it really brought her out of her shell. You know, that student went on to graduate, and uh, she's now a sophomore at PSU, and, and it's doing well. So there are tough decisions that had to be made. Uh, I don't believe uh, where you start out in life automatically determines where you end up. I believe it only determines your starting point. I was in a, in a meeting uh, three or four months ago at BSU. Governor Deal was there, and he brought out an interesting fact, and it's an alarming fact that, that I never heard before. 70% uh, of our inmates in our prison system in Georgia do not have a high school diploma or GED. So you bet I believe education is important. Uh, I believe this is the single most important factor in determining where you end up. You know, I'm going to stand for our small business people. Along with two brothers, we run a small business. We know what it is to have to make a payroll when you've got other people depending on you to uh, make, make the right decisions where they've got a job where they can support their families. You know, I, I, first hand, I know that high taxes and these bureaucrats on the red tape, you got to go through. It, it hurts our business people. I mean, it takes away money, time, and resources that they can be used to expand their business and create more jobs. And I think it's the lack of jobs. It's, it's why our young people leave. If we get good jobs here, they'll stay. Third, I'm going to stand for our farmers. I, uh, I was born and raised on a farm. I've got two brothers that still operate. That same farm has been in our family for over 150 years. And it's my hope and my prayer that 150 years from now, somebody from my family is still on that farm, operating early living. But, uh, Unfortunately, but they're under attack. You know, I understand agriculture in Georgia's number one industry, but so so many people, it's much more than that. It's a way of life. And like I said, that way of life is being threatened. You got these federal agencies in Washington that is bypassing Congress and the will of the people, and, and they're passing rules and regulations that pretty much handcuff and handicap our, our farmers. There's something bad wrong with a, with a farmer in another country can produce a crop, gather it, ship it here, and sell it cheaper than our local farmers can even produce it, much less pick and ship it anywhere. I'll stand up against these, these radical policies. And last, at the end of the day, the two most important things to me is faith and family. And, I, and I'll, st I'll stand up for both. You know, I've, been, I've been called a lot of things in, in my life. Most of them good. But uh, the best thing I've ever been called Pop. Pop. And I'm going to stand up and sure, be sure that uh, my granddaughter en enjoys the same freedoms and liberties that I've enjoyed. I'm going to ask for your vote, your prayers, and your support. Thank you.